awesome event today with kayak anglers of the Midwest. We had our third Thursday throwdown, which is the third Thursday of every month. We all meet up and have a good time and come out here and chat, blow off some steam, and uh, throw some lines out and catch some fish. So we're out here on Union Lake, uh, which is a lake about a mile away from my house. I always do really good on this lake. This is like a small mouth haven. I always get a lot of good smallies. I think last time we were out here, we pulled in like 15 or 20 fish each. Um, it's usually a really good time. So we always throw the same stuff. We always throw um, like pumpkin and watermelon Ned rigs. That's all we ever throw because that's all we need to throw. Or we'll throw spinner baits if it's super sunny out. But it's really clear water, so we stick to what we think we should throw. It always works, and we never have a problem. So today, everybody in the group caught fish. We had a guy that's never been in a kayak before, never fished out of a kayak. His first time out, he caught a fish. Uh, he caught a couple fish, actually. He had a great time. So it was a very eventful and rewarding day. I had a great time watching everybody catch fish. I had a great time seeing how happy uh, the guy was that's never been in a kayak before. Um, but I want to get a fish today. So the one thing I was trying to tell people is if you're out in a tournament or an event or just out by yourself or some friends having fun and you're skunking for the day, um, the biggest thing that you do is you get frustrated, you get irritated. You start rushing your retrieve on your baits. If you're throwing a finesse rig like I'm throwing now, you get really impatient and you start moving it too quickly. You want to hurry up and reel it in and cast it, reel it in and cast it, and uh, you get too excited. Um, and you also do what I've done twice now where you finally get a fish and you rush the hook set because you're so excited you finally get a fish. So you grab your pole and you set the hook as hard as you can, as fast as you can, and you realize that you pulled the bait right out of the fish's mouth because you didn't wait. No way! It just spit on top again! Um, so the one thing I want to put out there is uh, what I usually do when, I get, when I'm getting skunked or I'm not having a good day fishing is I throw something completely opposite of what I've been throwing. So if everyone out here has been throwing um, like a dark green um, Ned rig, here's a good fish too for that. Good timing. saying was is I throw something different and what I started doing was is throwing a totally opposite color instead of throwing pumpkin I started throwing orange so throwing the orange net rig got my first fish of the day so I didn't skunk and it is a big fat pike So I didn't get the bass that I wanted, but I got a big fat pike. So that's what I was saying. When you're not catching a fish, throw something different, get different results. So I started throwing something different and uh, I am not skunking now. So either way, throw something different get some different results. What I like to do is switch it up and throw something that I'm not used to throwing or a color I wouldn't throw. Usually the opposite. So if everyone's throwing dark green, it's not working. If I was throwing dark green and, it's, and it wasn't working, I'm gonna throw a bright orange uh, because this is a color I wouldn't normally throw. It's gonna put me out of my comfort zone a little bit, but it's also gonna, 
gonna kind of give me a challenge a little bit because now, now I'm using something different. I'm throwing something maybe the fish haven't seen, a different presentation, a different color pattern. And uh, you know, a lot of times that helps. And that's kind of something I saw at the KBF National Championship. Some of the guys that did really well, I asked them what they were throwing and everybody in the world was throwing the same thing that day. We're all throwing crawl colors, black and blue was like the color of the tournament. You know, hundreds of people were throwing black and blue at the fish. Um, some of the guys that were in the top 10 were like, oh yeah, we threw a, we threw a wacky rig, uh, bright green or pink, a wacky rig pink worm. And it kind of made me think, I'm like, you know what, that's kind of a good point. Everybody's throwing black and blue, everybody. So everyone's throwing the same color baits at the fish all day for a week. So when you throw a pink wacky rig, it's something they haven't seen before or something they haven't seen in a long time. So it might just be different enough to get their attention. This is what I call fishing outside the box. Getting outside your head a little bit. And uh, it helps you get on fish. So make sure you comment below though. Comment on this video. Let me know what you guys throw when you're skunking. If you're in a tournament, you're out fishing with your friends, you're out by yourself on a day to relax, and you're not catching any fish, uh, is there a go-to bait you guys have that you throw that always catches a fish or something that you do to change it up and get outside your head? Comment that below in this video. And uh, make sure you guys like the video and watch some other videos on the channel too. I just had two bites while I was talking to you. Two. Two bites. And no takers. They're just hitting and quitting. Hitting and quitting it.